back to the motor of anatomy there's the cream the main shows over there um, is that a Supra <laughs> so um, I don't know I, I I think there's gonna be many videos done on the cars that aren't part of the show um, I think this time I know I've done I think two videos on the Japanese classic car show this time around I actually want to do one of the parking lot so um, obviously the main event is over there and then this is where you know we come in and, and they park for to go and spectate um and i see a lot of the i see a lot of the similar cars i know this car has been coming here each year um just because i i keep tabs on it i used to have an sti so i remember it and it looks like he's been doing quite a bit of work to it, it looks very nice um but i don't know i just wanted to provide a different video because i do think that um part of the reason i started the channel was to uh to provide uh, more uh, cars that are budget friendly meaning uh, cars that you and I can build uh, on regular income whatever that is you know save a little bit of money and, and, and be able to do it and so I think that the cars in the parking lot <laughs> provide that for me I like the I like when there's you know dents and things like that on the cars so um, instead of doing one for the actual show I'm just gonna do one on the actual parking lot of the people that come to inspect it and this is exactly what I mean I mean, wow, it just, it's just beautiful, you know, 510, some mesh wheels. There you go, Danny, so that way you don't bitch and complain that I don't wear your hat. <laughs> but um, yeah, like this, I don't mind, you know, I think it can get fixed, and but the car is driven, and obviously, it's beautiful. It's just, this could easily be on the classic car show, but... Um, they chose not to register for whatever reason and then this one so these ones are like I would say the unloved um, platform just because you don't see that many of them being modified and um, I don't know I, I think they're, they're pretty cool just people don't take the, the time to actually fix these ones up but uh, this one's really nice This truck right here, little kind of art, white wheels. You know, nice little ducktail just for wind. Center exhaust where the license plate is supposed to be. You know, those details I like. I you know it took some fabrication um, to get to that point. A roll trunk bar, I guess you would call that. Um, that's cool to me, you know. Um, and then obviously the, the wagons are just and they have a soft spot and this is exactly what i mean i i'm one of those weirdos that yeah the show's cool because they, they, there's going to be a dotson wagon that's completely um restored but it's the uh, actual the ones with the with the nicks and and little you know imperfections and this one it's beautiful that big brake kit nice set of wheels yeah that's nice so like I said, a lot of people kind of just hang out in the parking lot for a little bit. It's nice. And obviously, you guys know how I feel about the 240s. I've been looking for one. Uh, oh, license plate, side chick. So obviously, this is exactly the way I would build it. What's a novice? I mean, this is exactly... I want to see the hat, open it, I want to hold the hat, you got to see the hat, I mean, this is just, you know, little things like the, the exhaust, the way it lines up like that, uh, the first time I saw that, I thought somebody actually had modified it that way, but no, that's actually how they, they come, and that's, you know, you know, to somebody like myself who doesn't know much, um, and this is pretty cool too, this is a perfect example. I mean, we have drums right here, the red stuff, and then we have disc. 
um, and so obviously all these different modifications that we do um, that make it our own I mean Toyo tires uh, manual uh, I mean these things are just very hard to find oh we gotta put the ones yo what the hell oh smog exempt vehicle okay Okay, obviously some people are a little bit more excited than others which is cool that's what we want um this guy for whatever reason always i follow him on instagram i don't know he's uh, i forgot his ig at the top of my head for whatever reason he's always parking the parking structure maybe he doesn't believe in paying for a show but um yeah this is one of the best cars by far um you know i do apologize about the glare um you know i just you do what you can but yeah this guy uh, this guy comes up from up north uh, i believe and this guy is always always in the parking lot i've never seen him on the actual show um which is pretty cool Talk about another car that could easily been on the show. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, an SX. Um, this guy I saw him last time, and he was also parked on the street. I don't know. Maybe they just don't feel like you know they're they're, they're the type that. No, we'll we'll spectate. We'll take a look at the cars, but we won't actually you know um, register to them. Register to the show. I don't know. I could be wrong, but like I said, this this uh, NSX I have seen in the in the past, and so is the other Datsun 510. Uh, for whatever reason, they're always in the parking structure. I, I've never seen them on the actual show. Nice little vintage steering wheel. Nice little vintage shift knob. I mean, that's cool, man. This is this is cool. You know, I just re recently asked on the Instagram, um, what is a car that um, you would want to resto mod? And the 510s came up uh, quite a bit. Um, I don't know, they're just gorgeous cars that people are taking them for granted. This one's a four door. I know the two doors are the, the harder ones to find, so. It's pretty cool. I mean, it goes unnoticed for some people, but for me, uh, the old school Toyotas and the fact that it's a truck and they added a little thing in the back so that way, you know, it gives a little bit of shade. That's freaking cool, man. A little bit of a uh, roll bar. Um, yeah, it's cool. Four wheel drive, four runner. I mean, wow. You know, nicks and cranny, whatever, you know, that's, that's what's the whole fun about it. Hope they don't mind. Yeah, so, you know, that's that's exactly what I mean by there's some nice cars on the parking lot. Um, the Hawkeye, I miss my Subaru, not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, these are cool cars, man. This, I, uh, the Blabai, the Blabai up front is my, by far my favorite STI. You know, that same rear end, but with the Blabai in front, not the, not the Hawkeye, but, I mean, look at it. And a wagon, the Lyrex, pretty cool. The Foresters, man, Foresters are super, uh, they're low key, they're low key. That's cool, man. So, if you guys pay attention, look at the size of that rotor a two piece rotor, Willwood BBK. That's something that you don't see. Let's see what he did. He did this, nope, he still drums in the back, but that's pretty cool. I mean, unless you know, you pay attention to those little things. Look at that beef, that beef, beef, beef. That's cool. So something that I like a lot, I don't know how people feel about it, but I really like are the covers. I really like the covers and a lot of people don't. Um, but I think it just gives it a nice, you know why? Because nobody makes parts like that anymore. You know, the, the new Accords will not have 
I like cover, so that, that's pretty cool. And obviously the buddies, R31. Um, man, this guy drives it everywhere. I swear, this guy drives it everywhere. That's cool. Uh, hopefully, hopefully one day we can get him on the channel. Um, I know that uh, we we've tried in the past, but timing. You know, we're all busy with timing. So, uh, shout out. Uh, check out Team Second Level on Instagram. Team Second Level on Instagram, and then uh, check his buddy that dude Joe on YouTube. So just like it sounds, that dude Joe, his buddy has a CRV, uh, and they always roll together. I'm actually surprised that he's not here. Look at that. Look at this. If you know, you know. Yes, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. I like the fact that there's so many nice cars in the parking lot. It's in 240. I honestly, I'm gonna go with the 240. Just something about them. Um, I like it. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, Miss Y. Yep, Miss G Y. I recognize that car. It's cool. And then it's making a way over here. Um, at first, I thought this guy was from uh, just for fun, boys uh, from San Diego, Leon. I think that's his last name. Um, so I was gonna start looking for Tommy and and Lee and all of them, but nope, I don't know. It's not him. And so he rolled with this. Um, oh man, they left the drink in there. Shit. Obviously, uh, Hachiroku. It's you guys know. Man, this is um, this is cool. So, for those who don't know, this is an all track. I mean, look at the size of those shoulders. Uh, rally, rally tie, uh, wheels companies. Um, obviously, coilover suspension, and you know, just to give it that rally inspired look, he doesn't slam it. He, you know, actually raced it. Um, again. This is really cool. You don't get to see this once ever. Um, now, unless I'm a complete dummy and this is a, a good replica and some of you guys can be like, no, dude, like that's a replica because of this, of that. Please let me know. Please let me in the, in the comments because I'm actually very excited about this car in the sense that uh, I never get to see them. And so obviously it's been resprayed. Let's see. I'll, I'll show you guys around the, the bottom. So like I said, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that one. If it's not all track, please let me know. Call me out on it. Be like, hey, dummy, it's not. <laughs> um, and this guy, I believe he went to uh, Cars and Coffee for period, correct? Right hand drive, um, super mint. Look at those brakes. It's beautiful. Um, I, was, I was asking for his uh, Instagram, but nobody could find it, so. Maybe somebody else who's watching this for the first time and can recognize that car. Please let me know his IG. The they close a, a certain part and now they they open up a different area. And I'm came across this Accord, and I'm trying to look at it properly just because. I mean, he's done some nice modifications to it. It's cool. He's done some nice modification. Actually, I think the lighting's gonna be very good, so I'm actually happy about that because now I get to uh, to be walking in the shade. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know. Thought I show a little bit of love to the Accord dudes. Um, another uh, hatch, eighty six, Club forty four AG, the Forum. Nice pair. I'd be kind of it's kind of shaded to leave them like this because there's always somebody who. So obviously like um the guy moved it and i'm completely wrong because this is the fd version uh, i was thinking about the other guy earlier um so yeah like again <laughs> i enjoy some of these cars more than i would enjoy some other ones and this is beautiful complete just wow perfection man this porsche is beautiful There's plenty to see here, which is really cool. 
Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's near perfection. Wow. So beautiful. This is beautiful. Now, I do want to show you guys this. Look at this CRV. I do want to show you guys this how cool they modify their bikes. That's cool. So as you can tell there's a lot to see. You know, in fact I think this video is gonna be so much longer than if I had just gone to the show. Um, and, I, and I've seen these Cressidas and you know in previous shows and things like that, but they always amaze me. Hello. Yeah. And this one yesterday, he was at the pre-meet, but I couldn't get it because it was very dark. But um, if any of you guys know La Familia Peluche, man, this is it, man. So I'm looking for Ludovico if anybody knows where to find him. <laughs> Look at this. That's, this is wicked. That's cool. fit though uh, what is this right hand drive the very first the first car that came to my mind was the Galant but it's not so if the owner is watching it don't get mad a grande Toyota grande pretty cool right hand drive nice 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 This E30, man. E30 is just super clean, super nice. Wow. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. The interior is really nice. And power. Pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming this is one of the more rare colors to find. So nice. Super aggressive looking. Super aggressive. White body, gritty, pandem, maybe. It's cool. My guy straight up put a car cover. What a thug. Love that. Evo 10. The wifey said, if you find one that's a good deal, go for it. So that's what she says about everything. And then she gets mad. <laughs> Just kidding. She doesn't watch the video, so it doesn't matter. It's cool. The EP3. Little wheel fitment. I think I can legit just stand here and then just look at all the cars that come in. <laughs> Where you at, Juan? Since you like buying all the, the rare stuff, here it is.
Little Wheels gang. Eh, not that little. Uh, 15, 15, 14 maybe. It's nice. Super clean. It's nice. Nice Corolla. It's beautiful. And this is typical me. See, there's a GTR right there. I don't care about it. I'm gonna go over here. Jeez. It's a nice car. I like the color a lot on this one. I like it pops dun, dun, dun. look at this oh goodness beautiful beautiful si ah uh, man careful don't don't leave those pins man don't leave those pins freaking a holes are everywhere so this is beautiful wow it's nice really really nice This is so cool. Wow. Jeez. This is the second one that we see. Close to original. This is the SI model. Love it. And this guy yesterday we saw at uh, the pre-meet. I know he's been in some videos. I'm not sure who's, but um, I don't know, but I know he's been on some videos. His buddy recording him. It was in the garage. It's pretty loud. I think it's this food, Josh. I think I think that's the name. This one's for sale, so hit him up. Be like you sign out a motor anatomy or something. <laughs> this is cool though. Uh, so what you could get, what it could become. So there you go. And so when I come to the Japanese classic car show, this is these are the cars that I'm actually looking forward to. The 240s and the 510s and the Hachirokus. Um, I know there's obviously a lot more other cars that are much more classics, but these are just the ones that grab my attention and, you know. This one's really, really clean from the interior. Wow. It's beautiful. So an R35, um, this is not a GTR, this is a GTS. Now, I know I've done my research on what the differences are between the GTS and the GTR, but I don't remember them. I know there are quite a bit of differences, um, but that's pretty cool. Old, new, new, old. Jeez. Uh. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at this. That's beautiful. Now, this one has some um, R wheels and it just flows. I really like the color scheme white and that metallic grayish. Just beautiful. He just got a new glass, so that's that was probably a plus for him. Then another 510 here. Hmm, mm, mm. This could have easily been on the show. Beautiful. Look at these wheels. Alrighty, and to finish up the video, we're gonna take a look at these last four cars. It's beautiful. I mean, this thing is just 
immaculate, man. Hmm. That seat's perfect. The paint job. So beautiful. Jeez. It's beautiful. Another Dante Roaster. Nice Alpina wheels. That too, not a thousand. Oh, wow. The whole cover. Interesting. So I guess this is where the Fred Lady came out from. Wow, this is cool. Nice look to it. The E30. Armando, where you at? You gotta, gotta start modifying your E30, man. And then last but not least, another S13. Uh, over fenders on the, on the left. On the rear, I mean, it's pretty nice. Nice coat of paint, and that's it. But it looks like he drives it, so. Alrighty, so that was the car show, non car show of Japanese classic car show. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, look at this CRV that cool. Peace out.